Insects have got their bad in the summer. But when the insects don't go into hibernation, all they got to go into is a hotel. They ain't got no time to die off. Because one day is 37, the next day is 77. And you see, you go outside, like it was cold enough, there's no uh, insects out. And the next day, it seemed like all of them woke up and came back outside. Because the winter sends them in, but if they continue to germinate, they continue to reproduce, that's what makes summer so bad. And I'm telling you, ain't nothing like a barbecue with mosquitoes. You have to try to have your ribs and your potato salad, and they try to have it too. So that's why things have to come and they have to go so the world can continue to go around. Uh-huh. I'm a summer man, but I don't want seven, I don't want 12 months of summer. Not from January to December. It's between 100 and 110 every day. Nah. I'm good. I can take a little when I can take a little spring, I can take a little fall because I know all of it works together. And now we can move from uh, earthly seasons to heavenly seasons. You're not going to be in your season all the time. You might be weeping now, but you're not going to weep forever. All right, all right. You might be in a financial position now, but you won't be there forever because he just said to everything there is a season. Uh-huh. And my thing is you don't want to make permanent decisions during the season. You do not want to make permanent decisions on your life due to your season. You can't go to Walmart and buy 12 months of winter clothes just because it's cold today. Because tomorrow you might wake up and those clothes will be too hot for the clothes, the weather will be too hot for the clothes that you bought. Now you've made a bad decision. And too many times we give up on God in a bad season. But this is one thing that I always ask myself, and more people ask themselves, how do we give up on God on two weeks of sickness and he gave us 60 years of health? Mm-hmm. Don't worry, I'll wait. Because most of the times you only hear people fussing about the bad times and the bad times no way come close to the good times. Right. I used to work in a call center for a cell phone company. We just kept getting called after call after call and it came to my mind that these are only a few people with problems. It don't serve for the million people that ain't got none. Because ain't nobody calling me and say, you know what, my service is great today. You know what, when I turn my phone on, my signal came through right on time. Ain't nobody calling me for that. But they will call you like, my phone ain't working. Yeah, right. Every time I come around the curve, I lose my call. Yeah. They'll call about that, and if you don't watch it, you'll be saturated with the problems and not forget that we got a good problem. And sometimes we get so caught up in life that we forget we serve a good God. We forget that he wakes us up in the morning. We forget that he called us in our right mind. We forget that he got a hedge around us because we had one bad day, baby. It's just a season. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. It's just a season. Because some of us raise our hand, I've been sick and I've been well. I haven't had money and but neither one of them lasted forever. And sometimes I think God takes some of these roller coaster, roller coaster blessings to keep us humble. Because if we had it our way, all the time, when we want it, we wouldn't talk to God. And then we'll think we pulled ourselves up by our own blessings. Me, my, I, I did it. I'm a self made. Me and I'm a self made man. If you're self made, you're half made. Because we was built to depend on Christ. On Christ, the solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. It's just a season. And if you don't watch it, your season will make you make permanent decisions that will destroy your life. Praise the Lord that it's, it's bad right now, but he can make it better. Uh-huh. Praise the Lord that you can't see the way, but he said, I'll be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. All you got to do is wait on him and be a good cheer. He'll strengthen your heart, but you got to remember it's just a season. And there's three things that we're going to look at in this sermon on seasons. The first thing that we see is it's just a season. 
a time to pluck, a time to play, a time to put down, a time to pick up. You either going to be on one side of the season or the other. But remember, whichever side you own, there is another side to the coin. Praise the Lord for them how much and I'm blessed and highly favored it. I got a little money to pick up this and go to the mall. But next month, you might be having to go to the loan company. Somebody might have to give you a couple of books. But just remember, it's just a season. There's so many people that have lost relationships and lives be based on where they at right now. And I'm here to tell you, I've been walking with the Lord long enough. I ain't old, but I know who he is. Every season ain't the same. It's some people would love your bad season. It's some people that'll get it right off with your worst day. Because I'm here to tell you, it ain't bad as it's in What you think you're going through with somebody two doors down is going through worse. Whatever you think you ain't got is somebody two doors down and ain't got what you got negative what you already have. The songwriter say, I look down to complain that I ain't have no shoes and then I look around and I see somebody that didn't have no feet to use. You better be careful. Yeah. It's just a season. Oh, yeah. I love this song. I'm blessed. Yeah. Praise the Lord. The woman says she looked down to fuss about some shoes and look at somebody in heaven. Mm-hmm. And we get so caught up on the small stuff. So guess what? Some stuff you're going through may not be a season. You might be reaping a harvest. Be yeah. not confused. God is not marked with other man's soul. That soul should also reap. So if you didn't plant some stuff that going to come up on you, don't be scared and be mad because it's time to harvest. You were mad when you were sowing it. But what goes in the ground and is fertilized must come up. So it might not be a season, it might be your best you. Your, 